The uh, Maru Bay microgrid project is really an energy kiosk. Providing power to a rural area in Kenya, specifically Maru Bay. There's no light after around 5 p.m. because they're really close to the equator, so you know, typical day and night are pretty equal. They have to rely on kerosene lamps, and these kerosene lamps are uh, they're expensive, they're toxic, and they're really dangerous. For the last seven years, Seattle University has been doing humanitarian engineering projects as part of the Engineering Project Center. We found a, a bunch of donors, primarily the Alstom Foundation for the Environment, along with a few others. There was a team of electrical engineering students who spent all of their senior year working on the design of this microgrid. About 20 plus professionals from the Seattle area two wind turbines and two large solar panels to provide the energy for these 70 battery kits that are being charged at the energy kiosk. The people in the community, what they do is they can take their cell phones and they can bring it to the kiosk to be recharged for a small fee. And they can also rent portable battery kits, which are batteries that come in a ruggedized case that let them plug in lights and so they can bring it home to their house and they can have electric light in their home for the first time at night and it's amazing to walk around the community and see electric lights at night. Seattle U's mission is, you know, for social justice. That's a part of their mission. We don't want to just train our students to uh, go out there and find jobs. We really want to empower them to change the world and be leaders. And I think there's um, uh, no better way of doing that than uh, going out there and, and serving the underserved. Being born and raised in Seattle, but my family is originally from Pakistan, I've seen the differences of lifestyle. That's one of the reasons why I went into electrical engineering, was to provide lighting for people in need, because light makes a huge difference. We receive data on how the system is doing it uh, once a minute, believe it or not, that's sent to a web page that can be viewed by anyone anywhere in the world if they want to know how the project is going. And it's, it's such a, a, a wonderful asset to have, and it makes the project seem real. Whenever I travel to uh, a developing community, I come back a slightly different person. Well, just the experience as a whole is just kind of undescribable. It feels very fulfilling to be part of this project, and it makes me want to do more and continue to do more with this group. Students at Seattle University get the opportunities to learn about how to apply engineering in ways that are often non-traditional and that makes a profound impact on people's lives. And when you see that transformation, it's remarkable. You don't want to just do one village, you want to do hundreds of villages. We learn a lot every time we do one of these. I think if we keep doing it, we'll, we'll be able to reach more and more people in a much more efficient way and effective way than, than we've ever been able to before.